This episode is supported by Squarespace. Hi, I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and this is the third and final and last video with Anne Wojcicki answering physics riddles. So here's a recap of the last riddle, and it's gonna go straight into the answer. So if you wanna think about it first, you can't. The question is, mm -hmm. the riddle is, I'm gonna lay it down on the ground so that the, the rope is coming from underneath the spool, okay. and I'm gonna pull it mm -hmm. this way. Okay. Um, and this doesn't rotate, it's, it's like it's fixed. stuck on okay. here. Which way is this gonna roll? It's going to roll in, backwards. Okay. Potentially. Why do you think that? It's not going to just pull it forward because it's going to uh, it's going to force a rotation. It's been a really a while since I've had to think. This about is this a thing. riddle. It's a this tricky is, one. It's a tricky one. Okay, put it down. Let me let me, let me see this again. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do okay, anything. You I'm hold it, it though, so, so I don't cheat. Cheating, yeah. Come stay, on, let me do it. it. I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> just let me do it. That's my experimentalist like coming. So if I pull it, it's going to create this create the torque. Okay. Um and it's going to... Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? So badly. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wow, so it does roll towards me. Oh, interesting. Yeah? Wrong. Not okay. wrong. Surprising. Yeah. I would think I'd go, come on, let's go have you go backwards, man. Just make me look good. So tell me, what, what's going on here? Yeah, so you're, I mean, you're applying a force in that direction. Yeah. That force acts here, so the torque from it about the center of the spool tends to make the spool rotate clockwise. But there's also a friction force between the spool and the ground, keeping it from slipping. The torque from that force tends to make the spool rotate counterclockwise, and it wins. Another way to think about it is to consider the spool like an upright pole. Tugging on the rope will tend to tip the pole over, which is like the spool rolling to the left. This wouldn't happen if the rope was attached near the ground, as in spools we're more familiar with. You know, it's, you're pulling it this way and it starts rolling that way. Mm -hmm. You need an opposite force down here yeah. to create to the create torque to spin it. That's why the friction. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. Maybe exactly. can I try it on the rug? <laughs> you can try it on the can rug. On Do the you think rug? it's going to be different? Um, you know, it's a lumpy rug. Come on. Come on, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's clearly not. What, what do you think is going to happen if we, mm -hmm. if you pull it like this mm -hmm. or like this so some angle so yeah what do you think will happen if we get it straight up pull it straight up versus i think like then this? potentially it has more of a chance of going different direction it all has to do with where your net force love is it. being applied I love, it. I love it physics nice job <laughs> we love good physics. good job with good the job. riddles awesome. yeah is there is there a riddle that you want to ask me just to make it fair all right physics girl <laughs> we're expanding our world of chromosome knowledge okay um how many chromosomes does a mule have? Oh. All right, so I'm gonna have to give <laughs> oh, you- Oh, wait, okay, wait, okay. So okay. so a mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey. Yes? You're brilliant. Yeah. Yes. I had horses when I was a kid. You did. We did okay. I didn't have mules, though. <laughs> I've ridden a mule. Oh, Very, did you have donkeys? That experience is coming in handy oh. right now. <laughs> um, we didn't have donkeys, no. No. Um, okay. Hence you had no mules. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're completely right there. So do you have um, any ideas about horses, number of chromosomes? Or no idea. Um, I feel like it's got to be something similar to humans just because there are genetic similarities between mm -hmm. So how many chromosomes all animals, do you have? 23. Awesome. Sets. That's so good. You have 23 pairs. 23 pairs? Yeah, 23 pairs. Most Sets people have 23 pairs. Some people might have yeah. a few extras, yeah. but you have 23 pairs, most likely. Most, some people have extra. That's some do, cool. But that usually results in some kind of other conditions. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would, I would imagine that, I don't know, there's some similarities between horses and humans. There's like the, the mammal thing that they've got going on together. I'm going to guess 23. Uh, no, but you were. I love the thought process. I love the guessing. Okay, so I'll give you a few clues here. Okay, you look so, so kind of surprised that I, I was wrong. But <laughs> so a horse has sixty-four. Wow, that is a lot. That's a lot of chromosomes. Okay, uh, donkey mm -hmm. has sixty-two. Those are good things to know. And so now if you mix them... Yeah, then I would imagine you would get the average, that like you'd get 63, but why would you get 63, if that's the answer? Well, that is the answer. The mule has 63. I don't know enough about how you get your sets of chromosomes from your parents. Uh, well, you're getting, like, one set from one parent and one yeah. set from the other. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a big learning experience here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for going through this with me. Super fun. I Thanks. love physics girl. She is cooler than Santa. No.
Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah. Happy, Happy physicsing. Thank you. Woo! Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, Squarespace can help you make your next move. Squarespace provides an all-in-one platform with templates that allow you to easily set up a website. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. It's about time you made that website to host the eclectic collection of riddles you have, right? Start your free trial with Squarespace at squarespace.com physicsgirl and enter offer code physicsgirl to get 10% off your first purchase.